Let's start off with the overall market picture as it stands right now. Flat slightly to the positive. Uh, we're sitting at well above the 3,000 level when it comes to the NSE 20. There's a bit of optimism when it comes to what we see on the earnings front because across the board, we're actually starting to see some really positive numbers. Right. Thank you, Eleni. Uh, it's a beautiful February and January. Um, every, everything seems to be going well for us. Um, the, 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 the results that are in are, are very good. The results that I expected are also beautiful. Uh, there are dividends being issued at um, uh, 10, uh, 1 to 10, 1 to 8. And so generally the market will respond to this. Uh, the prices of these counters have gone higher and are expected to remain high. Um, that is both for those who have announced uh, and, and those who are expected to announce this week and, and even next week. And so yes, uh, the, the market is upbeat. Um, I think it's responding to, 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 to those, uh, to, to those uh, reports. Well, William, what is, uh, of course, very uh, optimistic when you actually look at what Burry Cement has done, uh, we saw turnover increasing by around 28%. The company is, however, very worried about the inflation outlook for the rest of the year. We also know interest rates are very high. So this could actually affect uh, companies such as Bamburi Cement, which is very, uh, of course, exposed to the cyclical nature of what happens within the economy. Do you agree with this or do you think that the company is being conservative when they say the company could come under pressure this year? Um, it, it, I, 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 I agree that it, would come, it could come under pressure. Uh, if you remember our discussions last time, um, I, I said uh, that the, the, the housing industry in Kenya will be affected big time. Um, but one of the reasons as to why they have performed well uh, is because they, they export their products to the regional markets. And that has sort of cushioned them from uh, the, the pressures that are in the local market, as it were. Uh, but that notwithstanding, they, they might still come under pressure. Let's touch on uh, British American Tobacco. And this company is going to invest 1.2 billion shillings uh, for CapEx into 2012. They're looking to grow their market share across the African continent. Uh, do you think that this is, of course, the right step, given the fact that we, uh, the overall company, in fact, BAT, is starting to see lower smoking volumes coming through from North America and the developed world? Do you think that this company is going to do well in Africa? BAT will still continue to do well in Africa. Um, well, s smoking is not something that you can decide that uh, I'll, I'll, I mean, you can decide overnight that I will not smoke anymore. And so they will still continue to have patrons. Um, and, and I see that the investment is, is a worthwhile venture, uh, considering the fact that the market is still upbeat about BAT. Uh, William, would you also say that it's quite right to look at the banking sector as also conservative going into this year? Reports have been saying that for the next three consecutive quarters, we will see a bit of pressure again, inflation and uh, interest rates being the big issue for banking stocks profits going forward. Right. Um, the banking sector is, is doing well. I mean, if you look at the, 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 the table today, uh, they were uh, all over the, the table. Uh, there is the issue of the interest rate capping that Parliament is supposed to uh, discuss. That will indeed affect how uh, they, 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 they perform if the law actually, if the suggestions actually become low. Uh, but that notwithstanding, I think they will uh, take advantage of high interest rates, manage their portfolio properly, and still register better results. Uh, the inflation is, is, is neither here nor there. Uh, William, let's look at the shilling. It's also been relatively steady, despite the fact that many of the view the shilling is going to weaken as the year goes ahead. Uh, do you think that we are at risk of seeing a much weaker shilling into 2012? Well, I, I, I still feel that the shilling will uh, suffer great uh, consequences in 2012, given the, the pressures that are coming from different directions. Um, as, as of now, I wouldn't say that those pressures are the ones that work on it. I would say that it is the, the end, uh, um, end month demand pressures on the dollar that is making the shilling to weaken a little bit. But in the coming weeks, uh, it will probably uh, start to show that, uh, I mean, it, it, it might strengthen in the, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the short term, but in the long run, 
yes, the shilling might be affected.